This is going to be another really interesting matchup because I feel like Shulk requires a bit more finesse in this matchup just because Cloud can kind of forehead his way through a lot of neutral exchanges. Just like, oh, no, tilt, down tilt, by the way. I'm, no, I'm good. Forward, nope. Like, he just has options that just stops people from playing. And Shulk has that too, but I feel like spacing is much more important. Making solid use of the arts is going to be a lot more important. So, I see instance, I, I see a world where Nico has has like flashes of brilliance, whereas Spargo just remains more consistent throughout the matchup. I don't know. I say right now though, the like moments of brilliance, pretty much since go, Nico's had a solid command of the game. It's the first stop. Side B? Aggressive option. Spargo looking to get some offense going. Jump, switches over to speed. Spargo tries to get the back air, keeping the pressure on. And it's here, dash the hole. Nico goes for the get up attack. Gonna get punished. Close game. what I mean too like the the moment two or three of clouds hits connect it's even Ooh. what I'm honestly surprised that killed but here we are Spargo starting to surge ahead the own is now on Nico to find an option, and he does. Difference maker. That smash art. The X factor in this matchup that might very well decide. Sparker checks the side B, sees it doesn't connect, starts to back away, back into neutral, dropping up there, gonna get canceled, time to put it off. Spargo gets the up special, look what I can do. Cloud back in the batter's box is going to connect. Limit about halfway in. Speed art. Keeps him out of danger for a moment. Doesn't let him too much. Shield art breaking up the move afterwards. Ooh. Solid space in there from Nico. Steps back into the back air. Aggressive neutral air option punished by the up special. Spargo just being steady and consistent in this matchup. Oh, the limit play though. Oops. Like. Like. <laughs> Nico's out there. Living his life. And Spargo's like, well, but what if I up smash? Like, what happens then? Right? Like, that was that was behind Cloud. That was the end of the, the hitbox. <laughs> Moving on to game two. Grab, follow up. Smash art out to play. Make that bust. Solid damage racked up right now. Nico spacing is rock solid right now. Tries to get the down there through the stage. It's the forward air the next time though, and that's gonna be the whole stock. Last game, we did see Nico come out of the gate swinging, and Spargo just slowly but surely won the war of attrition. I think the next 30 seconds are going to give us some insight to whether or not that happened. Down tilt, Nico just catching the options back into the neutral air, also 49.9.
Shield art. Missing grabs back here on the landing. Ooh! My eyes jump out of my skull if I'm shoulder right there. <laughs> that, blade, that blade beam came out quick. Go quick on the draw than the average. Imagine parrying that, thinking you have the option to punish, and you just get straight up clotheslined by a four tilt with smash. That's an oof of some size. I'm not sure. It's like a medium. Oh, no. It's like Mario's up smash, but it's a sword. Crazy stuff. Okay, so there's gonna get parried. Nico keeping the pressure on thanks to the, sh the speed art. Smash comes out. Forward throw. One hit ends the game. Dances around the ledge. Chops him again. Oh! If I'm Spargo, I'm seeing if that spikes. Wouldn't be the first time then. He opts for the ledge. Spargo looking for the spike off the forward air. Doesn't catch it. You gotta think the the more this game wears on, the spookier it's gonna get for Shulk. Here's Perry drops down back here. Spargo charging up the limit for the moment. This is the aggressive option. Tries to go for the fate. Shieldar comes out with cancel smash. Back and ready to go. Blade beam. <gasps> doesn't get the scoop and he doesn't change how to smash in time and suddenly. Forward smash comes out and we're even up. Anyway. <laughs> and you were working. Through that pretty good. good stuff, though. I think that just really speaks to the overall potential that Spargo brings to the table. Down, never out. Nico finding that forward smash. Game number three, early use of the speed art. I like it, drops in for the meaty forward air. Up tilt to follow up, Spargo. The Spargo thing. <laughs> Aerials are gonna clash. Pico kinda got the better of it, but the follow up definitely didn't work out. Limits here now, 96.1. Now both games in this series so far, we have seen Nico with the early lead. And that shield art saving the bacon. Spargo's been kind of playing from behind both games we've had so far. Let's see what it looks like when he... I was about to say when he's in a driver's, driver's seat, he's not old enough to drive, what the heck? Anyway. Smash Shark comes back out, get up attack. <laughs> Nico starting to even things up. Ooh! Swing batter. Nico connects it down till Smash Shark comes out, drop down back air, thanks. Custom neutral air short gets the option. Perfect timing. Nico starting to get rolling here. There's the parry though. Buster Art comes out. Nico needs one breakaway moment here as the Buster Art goes away. Kinda got what he was looking for. Up special. Comes out to play. Speed Art. Side B's gonna get punished. A lot of momentum potentially lost here for Spargo. Nico looks to pounce, but up special. Stops the advance. Neutral there, down tilt. Spargo fishing for the up smash. I mean, Schultz needs a haircut. So. Swing away. The down air actually got clipped out by the aerial from, from Schultz. 
Nico tried to give him the two scoops. You get it? Twitch handle. <laughs> Nico is more than comfortable with just waiting for that up special. Like, I, I know how that goes if I run off there. Spargo had the hot start, but now Nico's just been using raw fundamentals and spacing to get back ahead. The shield arc comes out. That down air almost caught the spike on the two frame. Parry side B. Limit about 80% or so. It's like 82.47. Up throw won't do it. Backward aerial. 51%, not the, the, the widest margin. Ew! Catches him with a meaty forward smash, and he tried to get the spike. This kid's a savage. Reads the roll. Ooh, scooped, and here are my bands. I got through that pretty good. Stop battle. Come on. Rock solid play from both for our winners' finals contenders. He go now find himself one game away from casually waiting to see how the rest of the bracket plays. Can Spargo force out game number five? Shown plenty of comeback potential already. Spargo opt out of the forward smash with the smash art. He's like, no, I'm good. Spot dot, jump to the parry. Proud of you making use of the defensive options to break away into the offense, keeping Nico in the air. Down throw jump bar. Nico trying to answer back another chop for the road. Side of a up special or two. Shield are keeping this first stock alive, but no. If at first you don't succeed, take one step forward and up smash again. The young man learning a lesson in persistence. <laughs> Margo keeping things interesting. The top end of the blade beam connecting. Go reading these tech options well. Edge guarding 101. Get your Twitch clips ready. Trying to learn. Catches him. Doesn't do it. But ooh, ooh. Now, like, did he have to do it to him like that? I would say no. But at the same time, he had to do it to him. One stock away, Nico about to get the grand finals with winner's side. Sparko doing what he can. The old reliable. Caught you trying to play the game, sir. One stock penalty, repeat first down. Speed art out to play for the moment. Allows Nico to push Sparko back to the ledge. To be quite the pickle for Spargo. Smash art burning away. Forward throw. It's the clash forces out the directional air dodge, and that'll do it. No double jump. Nico clutches it out, takes game number four, and we'll see you on the winner's side. And in looking in the chat, yeah, yeah, Cloud's good. Cloud's good. Cloud has been good. 